All right, let's take a look at a um, example of a uh, book, your book might call it, or you may hear, hear it somewhere, uh, unhib uninhibited growth. Um, so we're going to operate under the assumption that uh, in this example that the, uh, the bunny rabbits will have sufficient food and sufficient area and uh, a lack of predators so that uh, our exponential uh, model will, will accurately uh, model the population of bunny rabbits. So, in, in our hypothetical story here, we have bunny rabbits are introduced to an island with an initial deposit of 30. So we dropped off 30 bunnies, and maybe we can assume that 15 male, 15 female. Uh, and then we come back six months later, and there are now 120 uh, rabbits. Um, determine how many rabbits there will be on the island in a year. Uh, assume we can model with exponential growth, so we can use... Uh, our our exponential equation, a of t equals a naught e to the kt. Um, now, the time appears to me to probably be in months, um, because they say six months later. Um, we could use it uh, time in years. We would say time is a half. That that's certainly a possibility. But let's let's use months here. Um, so what we're going to look at here is um, uh, we're going to write down some things that we know. Um, I know that our initial deposit is 30. I know in six months there are now 120 bunny rabbits. I don't know what the K is. And what I'm trying to find is I'm trying to find how many bunny rabbits there are in, in a year. So I would use T as 12 for 12 months, but I don't know what the K is. So it's one of those problems where we're trying to find like the interest rate, uh, but here it's, it's called the growth rate. So we're going to find the K, and I do have enough information here uh, to do that. We're going to use the, the fact that there's 120 bunny rabbits in, at, at 6 months. So 120 is equal to 30 E to the K, and then that's in 6 months. Um, so what we're going to do here is just like when we solve for the interest rate, we're going to divide both sides by 30 to isolate the exponential. And then um, to undo the, uh, the e to the 6k to uh, solve for that exponent, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Natural log works nice with e, they're inverses of each other, so we have the ln of 4 is equal to 6k and then I'm going to divide both sides by 6 and I'm going to say my growth constant is ln of 4 divided by 6 All right, and I'm going to leave it like that um, because I want to have as accurate results as possible if I uh, plug it into my calculator I'm going to get some decimal and um, if I do that I'm going to introduce some rounding I'm going to introduce some errors so I don't want to do any rounding until the end of the problem all right, so now we can go ahead and find how many bunny rabbits there are uh, in in 12 months or a year. So we're going to plug in 12 into our formula. Okay, so we just rewrite. Here's what our formula looks like now because we have we have the k. That's our kind of like our interest rate, our growth rate there. And we're going to plug 12 in, and uh, it's pretty much home free. I'll write it down how. Uh, you would plug it into your calculator. Okay, make sure you have that parentheses all around that exponent there. Okay, and after a year, there are 480 bunny rabbits. Assuming you know there's no 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 predators, uh, the weather's nice, um, there's plenty to eat, plenty of room. Okay, so just write down what you know and and a lot of times you can see where where you need to go with this a lot of times you are going to be solving for the uh the growth constant or the decay constant